Thanks, Karen. Hello, family, friends. Um, yes, thanks for dropping in for another quick visit. I did a quick look at the news this morning, um, but before I go to that, I have a uh, unique piece of wood here, and uh, I started making a new walking stick. I'm really enjoying it. Oftentimes in a show that ran for quite a few seasons, NCIS, we see uh, Mark Hammond as Gibbs working on his boat, and he's always working by hand on his boat. I found in the practice of law, and I found basically in the practice of life, that there's a lot of therapy in getting away from the day-to-day uh, -day BS that's going on. So one of the news media things that hit my attention this morning was the fact that uh, just in Chicago, just in Chicago, 53 people were shot, 10 killed this last weekend. Then I turn to uh, another segment and I see that Joe Biden is again calling for gun control. He's representing now the far left. Well, I don't think he really knows what he's representing except for himself and his swamp-like family. But anyway, um, so he makes a big deal out of gun control. We got to get gun control. And uh, what he wants is he wants to take away your guns. Second Amendment, there's a functional reason for that that's very real especially in this day and age with um, terrorist organizations like Antifa and BLM, and then individuals with their own agenda. So uh, that's Biden's platform is to screw you and your Second Amendment rights and to make you defenseless so that you have to rely on the police. If you live in rural anywhere, here's the bottom line. Even if they had police, they'd never get there on time. And they want to take away your ability to defend yourself. So where was Joe Biden over the Chicago uh, weekend? Not this last weekend. Not Detroit. Not Portland. Not L.A. Not, not, not. Just Chicago. Using Chicago, Obama's home, using it as just one representative example. Where was Biden on this issue? Last weekend, the weekend before. And the answer is, after 47 years as a, a congressman legislator, he hasn't done squat, he won't do squat, and he's only, his only reason in doing political on the gun control is to buy votes of the extreme far left. So we have taken care of a couple things there. One of the things on the news, there was, uh, it appeared to be there was a lot of news on the NFL. I have no idea of who's doing what on the NFL. I haven't watched the game, hardly seen any of the news since Kaepernick took a knee and that was considered acceptable. Those people are in it to make a buck and they don't want to alienate the left. I don't understand that because half the nation is on the right and we stand up for God and country. And I apologize, I just looked down and I saw the mess I have all over me. I apologize for that. Uh, Probably not how to do a video, but you get the down-home real me when we're doing dondits and not pundits. So I think about uh, the orange sky yet again this morning. The burning of the West. The people starting the fires. The protesters, those with an axe to grind. Those who feel like they can't get justice or they want change. And the West is burning. I saw the map last night with the satellite picture of the smoke going all the way to Minnesota. The West is burning because 
the Democrats who controlled the environmental issue for so long did nothing about environmental science. They only bowed to the God of environmental religion. And in doing that, they failed. They failed the American people. Their job is to protect us. They put us at risk and they burn up the resources that otherwise the world could use. So if you support no guns and no police, you want to defend yourself with a toothpick or something, vote Joe Biden. He's your man. Of course, you won't have him very long because you'll wind up with Harris, Kamala, Camellia, whatever her name is, Camellia, kind of like that uh, lizard that changes color, right, to blend in. Um, except for, I've never seen a lizard on its back in order to get things done. So anyway, um, I've covered uh, Compton and gun control and Biden and the fact that he's going to sell you out. I cover the Dems and the Enviro issue and the burning of the West. Um, I'm not going to go into detail here and you don't want me wasting your time doing that. If you're a responsible person, then you can research that for yourself and draw your own conclusion. I personally believe there's only one conclusion to draw. I'm offended whether it be Biden, Trump, or any other politician that will use the death of people to lever a political agenda. I understand it. It's a power grab, power control, and they want to control you and me. And the Dems being the party of slavery. And for those of you who are my friends and your Democrats, research it. Find out the truth. Is, it's not hidden in spite of what the left is trying to do to the educational system. So there you go. You have it for this morning. I hope this was short and sweet. I don't know how long it took. But I'm going to get back to um, working on my, my new walking cane. I also have a couple to fix and finish. I'm going to enjoy the day. I'm going to try to enjoy the week. I'm going to vote responsibly, and in voting responsibly, there's only one vote that I can make, and that's to vote for Trump. As far as being disheveled and all that, uh, you get me in my natural state. I hope you all have a great week. This week rushes toward the election, and we will have an opportunity here in just a few weeks to have an idea of whether what all the pundits said. Uh, and that's on both sides of the issue. It's true. Remember this. Half of them are wrong. Why would you go to a drowning person to learn how to swim? I suggest you review the record for yourselves and make your own decisions. And uh, until another day, maybe tomorrow or later this week, I hope you truly have a great one. Make it so.